This program is brought to you by Mobilecast Media. Mobilecast Media, helping customers increase sales and productivity through high quality online video and podcasting. What's one of the most elegant and musical events of the year? I'm John Houghton of the San Francisco Opera Bravo Club, inviting you to stick with me as we check out the hottest in fashion and entertainment at the 2009 San Francisco Opera Gala. This was a very special gala as it was the inauguration of Maestro Nicola Luizotti and his new role as musical director. I was so happy today. Somebody told me, Are you, were you nervous? I said, not at all. I was so happy, so excited to start with my company. He puts us in a whole new context of great vocalism and a centering upon the seminal works of the Italian repertory Verdi, Puccini, Bel Canto. Not only were we happy to have our new maestro, but at this gala we had an amazing assembly of talent. Well, it's it's exciting moment, another exciting moment in my, my life and my career. I feel very privileged and happy that the performance that we've been preparing for quite a long went very well. This is the first year where Bravo, the Young Professional Organization, and the Guild, whose mission is opera education, have joined together to celebrate opening night. Tonight in particular, they had a wonderful opera. I, I, it's probably the best opera I've ever seen. Opening night is a night of glamour when everybody comes together for San Francisco Opera, the Guild, Bravo, under one roof. Well, for San Francisco, Paris, New York, and a few other major urban capitals of the world, the Grand Opera is a total and true expression of the culture of the people who live there. True expression is what it's all about, and of course the trick to romance is two things. Express to her how beautiful she is and take her to the opera. But what do you like about opera? I like Diana Westnedge over here. What do you like most about Diana? <laughs> her laugh, her good heart, and a beautiful smile, yes. Very and I just melted. <laughs> yes, women love opera, and opening night is a perfect excuse to dress up. Oh, I just think everybody gets their energy really high and they just want to see what's going on and want to hear the music and see what people are wearing, like Matthew. Matthew, what are you wearing? A beautiful black tuxedo. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing too. I decided to wear my formal, uh, my formal sling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I went and got a new gown and very excited. It's my favorite color. And... When we come back, more fashion and fun from the San Francisco Opera Bravo Gala. Innovative companies are boosting sales and productivity through Mobilecast Media's high-quality online video and podcasting solutions. Well, I can't emphasize enough how important Mobilecast Media has been in the success of this program. The expertise uh, of the company really helped us. I think in the end, we were very happy with Mobilecast Media. They have been very easy to work with. They have been flexible and efficient. We were delighted with the Mobilecast Media team. To learn more, call 1-800-508-8155 or visit mobilecastmedia.com. Opening night is an exciting event, and this night's festivities were complete with flamenco dancers. And by the way, what does Il Trovatore mean? In Spanish means uh, the troubadour, and it's actually set in Seville, and that's one of the places of southern Spain from which flamenco stems. And some women kept true to the theme. Um, this is a couture design by Pamela Dennis. Uh, she learned about El Trovatore being the opera of the season, the opening night, so she created this to match with the theme of the Spanish gypsy. Not all the gowns were Spanish, but they were beautiful. I'm wearing Monique Louillet. My dress is made by Sean Couture. Um, I, I wear him a lot. He's an amazing designer. BCBG Max's area. <laughs> Uh, I am wearing a dress by a Colombian designer, a South American designer. I am wearing a vintage gown, actually. So um, this is something that I picked up um, in some of the amazing vintage shops in San Francisco. Anything special about the jewelry? Uh, the jewelry just makes me sparkle. I think girl needs bling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing all my friends and getting seeing all my friends like so dressed up and looking forward to the opera itself. You know, we don't have a lot of excitement in our, our clothing, but but the, the women have a, a great opportunity to, to dress up. You know, opening night for any opera house is a 
particularly festive occasion. And I think the San Francisco Opera, as you can see, that we're at the dinner afterwards right now. It's beautiful. Everybody in San Francisco comes out. They put on their best outfits. And it's just really exciting to see people again. I was here last year, and I just love it. Yeah, it's going to be a fabulous night. Looking forward to the opera, looking forward to some dancing. When you're at a gathering like this, and you see everyone in wonderful spirits and friends coming together, and everyone, there's just this amazing positive energy. It's really quite magical to see. And it's just been extraordinary to see how these organizations have come together uh, on behalf of the opera. It's pretty extraordinary, and we keep joking about the fact it is a wedding for a thousand people. This year, we've come together under City Hall Rotunda, the whole opera family, to celebrate the opening of the opera. People are back from summer, and they're ready to go, and this is, this is our big night. The gala, I think it's the pageantry and the fanfare. It was just wonderful to see the Opera House packed to the gills with people who are passionate about opera, passionate about the art, continue to support it in spite of the economy. I even had a chance to ask up-and-coming author Alvin Ziegler about his latest project. I'm working on a techno thriller that is uh, based on the human genome. So, what's, what's the name of the book? And the name of the book is Gridlock, and there'll, there'll be a prequel as well. I think that opera really gives you a chance to experience the symphony, the ballet, as well as a play or a performance, all encompassed in one. <laughs> it's a combination of all the best. The singing, definitely the singing is definitely the highlight for me. I think we're incredibly lucky in San Francisco to be blessed with a symphony, an opera, and a ballet. Well, the stories are timeless. They're classic. People fall in love, people die, people break up, people steal brothers, wives, and, and lovers. It's classic. It still happens today. It doesn't happen today, does it? <laughs> yes, it does. I think it lets us look at our own selves through a prism of you know, great artworks that, that are based on archetypal situations that anyone can identify with. Yeah. And we're so thrilled to have Nicola with the San Francisco Opera. He's just so excited to be here and he's exciting the entire audience and he was, he's a thrill. I think the new conductor is really um, showing his stuff. It was, it was fabulous. It was wonderful. What's the best thing about the Bravo Club? Oh, the Bravo Club? Uh, it's a wonderful organization to get together a lot of young professionals. Um, the events are wonderful, the camaraderie, the people that you meet are actually fantastic. They said that delegation is one of the strongest and most important skills in today's yeah. business environment. What's your trick? Well, let me tell you, delegate, delegate, delegate. So we meet people from all over the world. And some people from San Francisco. And some French people. Oh, wait, some French people. <laughs> it's such a special feeling, you know, being with a community and... Uh, the people. And socialization is great. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to bring the opera away from the elite, more out to the, to the people, and what we want is we want a lot more, a lot of younger people. It's an opportunity to socialize with people who you know share your tastes, network for purposes of business and otherwise. I really like the people. Uh, every time I go to uh, a performance, you know, I see people that I know. Well, we hope you've enjoyed your time with us. Check in with us next year for coverage of the 2010 San Francisco Opera Bravo Gala.